Hello, my lovelies. Oh, God, it's got another fun video. Um, you me, and today it's time to do some beauty products reviews. It's been a long time, and I have been collecting a few of them. So let's jump right into it. Let's start with some soaps. <clears throat> so, if you saw my shopping haul at Rusta, I got these uh, No Fo that stands for Nordic Formula, and. Uh, this is bergamot and mistleberry, and I'm currently using the one that is cherry blossom, and they all smell amazing, amazing. I can't say that enough. Uh, if you can, if you can get a hold of these, uh, they're all great. They smell like they're soap is being perfumed it's rich but not too much and they smell so so good <clears throat> next time i go to rusta i will stock up on uh, hand soaps amazing 10 out of 10. and i try this hand soap from ika basic you know the supermarket called ika and this is mango papaya. Uh, this one uh, gets like a 1 out of 10 because uh, uh, this one was, uh, this um, pump is, it, it kept on bending all the time and it, the soap itself, it looks like my hands were dirty when they were not, if you know what I mean. I wash my hands all the time and uh, sometimes because they, they're dirty but just sometimes if I've been touching like a lot of uh, handles to the doors and things like that uh, then I wash my hands <laughs> like outside my flat that is <clears throat> and uh, it's, I mean mom, mango papaya it sounds delicious but it's still not that good either so bad packaging bad soap Bad soap. Get a one. Then I tried this uh, from Lido, this lovely unicorn shower uh, shampoo in one. And these are for children, but I thought, why not try it? And yeah, it works. It didn't smell that lovely as I thought it would, but I get a five because it kind of works. Well, it works, um, but I don't love it, you know? It's mediocre, it's medium. Then there are these deodorants. <clears throat> and this one is from uh, uh, Lidl as well. And yeah, it smells fine. It works fine. Uh, like a five. I'm not sure if it made my t-shirts go, t-shirts go brown hair or something like that. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but yeah it wasn't as sticky as the last one that i tried the pink one so it smells kind of good as well so it was fine and this one i use like a lot of times ldb sweet pea it's it works fine as well it gets like a six they smell good all done and they work well so no problem <clears throat> I got a ritual shampoo and conditioner for my brother at Christmas and uh, I mean they are expensive they smell ridiculously good and um, but <clears throat> I, I can't say that they're better than any other shampoo you know like a cheaper working shampoo uh, I wouldn't say it's better actually um, Maybe you don't have to use as much, but I'm gonna put a really big maybe there. Uh, it's uh, you get it's expensive. It's good, yes. Is it that good? Mm, not sure. Get a six. And this is the hand cream that I got um, from Orleans Itavari, and <clears throat> it worked fine. It was like not spectacular and these are a little bit more expensive than uh, like the cheaper brands so um mm, would i pay it again no i wouldn't would i use it if i got it as a present yes i would 
lotion I got either varje uh, body lotion and I have to say I'm not a huge fan of body lotions I like body butters they are so much uh, more thicker and look like fatter <clears throat> and this one is also not like better than any other body lotion um, so I will give it a six it's a little bit more expensive not better not worse but I think I will buy um, body butters from that one then I got some products that I got from my add-on calendar from Sans and it's beauty product and this is a day cream that I got and if fine it uh, totally works um, would I get, get it again? If I could get a hold of it and try it again, uh, and it was cheap, I, I probably would try it again. Um, but it's not like spectacular or seriously bad or anything like that. I give it a five for now. <clears throat> Shower gel. Does it smell like ginger? No, it doesn't. It smells like lemon. I think everything that was ginger uh, had a smell of ginger. It smelled like lemon actually. And uh, it's shower gel, so it's shower gel, you know. But would I buy it? No, I would not. It gets a three. <clears throat> and this is the shampoo and it's the conditioner. I think I used all of it actually in one go. That's a little bit too much, but you know. And it's not like the worst, but it's not really that good either. Would I buy it again? Mm, no. It gets like a four. And now it's time for some masks, face, face mask, and all that. <clears throat> so let's start with this one. This one is not open, but it, it was two. So I used the other one and uh, it didn't say in English or in Swedish for that matter how to use it. So I wasn't really sure. I really had to guess. And uh, this is like a peel off mask. And it was really strong. It felt like I was like rubbing toothpaste over my face because it was like starting to sting and it was just really, really uncomfortable. It wasn't that super hard to get off, but I don't really like Pila's mask because in general, I think they're hard to get off your face and they get stuck in your hair everywhere. And no, I just don't enjoy it. I would not buy this again, no. And then I got this lip mask from Sans that I got from Dollar Store and this one did absolutely nothing for me, nothing. It wouldn't stay on my lips and I didn't feel like any more moisture on my lips or anything like that. It was just a disaster, a zero for me or a one if I have to give from one to ten. But I won that. <clears throat> and I got this one, this is smoothie. Uh, blueberry clay face mask and these are really good in general I can recommend them and uh, yeah I usually put this on when I'm having a bath or something like that so and they're really cheap as well like, like two euros or something like that so I can recommend these <clears throat> and this is the aloe vera uh, sheet mask and I have to say this didn't do anything for me either really uh, so I kind of was disappointed with that so I gave it like a two and I got the cinnamon roll uh, face mask for fun uh, just because you know it's a cinnamon roll and uh, as usual this brand uh, face what's it called uh, face face facts <clears throat> This one is also really cheap, like about a euro or something like that, and it didn't do anything for me uh, this time either. So I don't know why I bother. I probably shouldn't bother anymore. <clears throat> so that's all the products I got from you this time. I really hope you enjoy my uh, reviews of beauty products. And if you can get these products in your country, uh, please let me know in the comments. I mean, you can get them in Sweden. I'm not sure about this Sense product because this was from an advent calendar. And I'm not really sure if they um, sell this in like bigger uh, bottles or something like that or tubes. Um, um, but if you have tried any of these, let me know in the comments. Can you uh, 
Uh, can you buy like uh, richer products in your country? Let me know. I'm really curious about that. And have you used them and do you like them? Please let me know in the comments because I'm seriously curious about that. And do you ever shop at Lidl? Do you, can you buy this stuff there? Is, this, is it a thing? Please let me know. I'm, I'm seriously dying to know. And maybe some of these sheet masks uh, because this is not Swedish. Um, a lot of uh, beauty products are actually from the UK, which this one is as well. Um, so let me know. All right. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and write something in the comments. All right. Take care of yourselves. See you next time. Bye.